Hello, N4H&H &H here. I have an opportunity to show you something that I've mentioned before on the channel. Oh, you hear that noise? Hear that? Now, notice that NB noise blanker is turned on. I'm going to turn that off. Now I'm going to turn noise blanker back on. So let me show you what that is. That is a QSO three kilohertz away. So before you go blaming this person and say, "Hey, hey, buddy, you're you're splattering, you're you know you're you're wide," the truth is it's caused by the noise blanker. Noise blankers um, traditionally have. Uh, impaired the selectivity of a receiver. So, and, uh, so I'll go back back down to 240. You hear that? Okay, now I'm going to turn the noise blanker off. So this is why I say try try to stop the source of the noise so you don't have to use a noise blanker. Because even if they do remove the noise, and by the way, it's even worse with a wide noise blanker sometimes, and it'll even make somebody you're listening to sound distorted if you turn it up too much. You don't want to run the level of, of a noise blanker any higher than it needs to be. Okay, listen as the noise goes away. So, you know, there's only a little bit of line noise in there anyway, but... I just wanted to use this as an opportunity to show you what I was talking about when I mentioned noise blankers uh, impairing your selectivity. This is the Yaesu FTDX 5000, but it, it can happen even with other radios, other brands. Um, just about every amateur radio I've ever owned, uh, the, you know, the noise blanker. Well, as a matter of fact, I think I can safely say every amateur radio I've ever owned. The noise blanker will do this. Uh, it will impair your selectivity. So if you're needing selectivity, you got to get by without the noise blanker. So again, the best thing to do is try to stop the noise at the source. Uh, I shot a video about that a few weeks ago, you know, how to track down uh, noise on the HF band. So, um, you know, I, I would encourage you to go watch that for a little bit more info on how to stop the noise at the source. Okay, so I hope, hope you found that video helpful and informative. Thank you, Patreons. Uh, for helping me uh, continue to, to provide this type of content to the amateur community. Uh, if you would like to become a Patreon, I welcome you. Uh, it's uh, www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash N4HNH. And if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, those uh, um, uh, actions also help to keep the channel going. And also, uh, if you'd like to be informed when I upload a new video, click the bell. Okay, hey, thanks for watching in 73 from N4 H&H. &H.